Out goes Homicide. And it's Onyx and Rain Man mixing it up. Fisticuffs in the middle of the ring this week on Wildside. Look at Onyx doing a turn on Rain Man. Drop down. Up and over the coast. Big power slam by the world television champion. And there's no final power slam in Wildside. And that's from the world TV champ, Onyx. Homicide coming off the top. Well, a miss Q lands on Rain Man. What a high back body drop. And down he goes, the world television champion is cleaning house. Jeff G. Bailey tried everything in his power to eliminate Onyx from Wildside. He sent thug after thug, and they could not get the job done. Had big business brand bring in several. He brought in Scoot Andrews from Florida. He couldn't get the job done. Onyx has been so unstoppable here as the world television champion. And now Blackout in the ring in a three-way dance. Give me a break. Oh, that's a butt bomb by Rain Man. Well, and Bailey's been livid, absolutely livid after that ridiculous episode with that steroid test. And Bailey got a urine sample hurled straight into his mouth. And one of the most disgusting yet somewhat amusing scenes ever seen here on Wildside. Onyx has been a thorn in the side of Jeff G. Bailey since he left the NWA Elite in March of 2001. It's been a long, long several months for Onyx. Having to fend off Jeff G. Bailey's NWA Elite. But he won the World Television Championship from all that. Adam Jacobs on October the 20th, 2001 at Fright Night. And he's been the champion ever since and having upended some very, very difficult circumstances. That's true, but when you're a champion of the caliber of Onyx, the world's TV champion, I mean, you're a marked man. And tonight, the target is double fold, both members of Blackout, just the way Jeff Bailey wants it. But the problem is, will there be any cooperation between Rain Man and Homicide as to which one will pin the world TV champ? I mean, that's a big question mark. Man. Well, as Jeff G. Bailey said before, he didn't care. If his shoulders were pinned to the mat, he wants him hurt. So I don't think winning the world television title is even on the mind of Homicide or Rain Man. But with street thugs like them, you never know. Hey, there's a big chunk of gold. These guys like gold. Four on across the throat of Onyx. Still the Cump fan. Jeremy Lopez is going to be out of here. Lance Dreamer's gone from Wildside. Um, he wrestled Adam Jacobs in Nashville, Tennessee. Don't know what happened to him. I think he may have suffered an injury, but nonetheless, he's no longer with the company. He's not coming back. He was supposed to face Jeremy Lopez, Wildside Junior Heavyweight Champion, next year on Wildside. But since he's not here, I think Jeremy Lopez has a, a very interesting announcement to make. We'll find that out through next. Oh, the like work of Jeremy Lopez. Timeless stuff, that. And your main event this week on the Wildside is Caprice Coleman mixing it up with the role model, Jason Cross. Oh, super dropkick from Rain Man to the charging chest of Onyx. It's, but unfortunately, Onyx is in no position to capitalize on some of his offensive maneuvers. A lot of the women have been taken out of the sails of Onyx. But you can't cut this guy out ever. Hey, it's the blackout. I'm blackout. I've been waiting to call that one. Too late. Oh. Rain Man's got a chair. And Speedy Nelson calls for the bell. A disqualification for using the chair. God, it's come to this. Good Lord! And Homicide just KO'd referee Speedy Nelson. And the chair is being jammed into the elbow, left elbow of the world TV champ. Look at him going to turn in the arm. Yeah, and another massacre. Another massacre orchestrated by Jeff G. Bailey, courtesy of Blackout. This is grotesque. We need some help from the back. Can we cross me at a word back there, Dan? We do need some help. Is anybody going to hear me? If you dare, come stop these guys. It looks like Blackout have uh, had their share of punishment now. Don't call him Onyx. Call him One Arm. Because Onyx, JC Daz, is going to finish that arm off in two weeks. So you think about that. <laughs> that is if he gets out of the pokey in two weeks. The winners of the match, Blackout! Uh, not exactly true. Onyx wins by disqualification. He keeps the belt, but at what cost? The Wild Side Tag Team Champions. An ominous presence indeed.
And they, in fact, took out the World TV champ, softening up that left arm for the returning J.C. Daz once he uh, stops wearing uh, stripes down at the uh, local correctional facility. But Onyx uh, does win the t keep the World TV title via the qualification. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match as a result of his qualification and still World Television Champion, Honor!